guys, welcome back to No Catchy Name. It's me, Ella. Today is Friday, January 7th. Um, I'm in the bedroom recording because Jesse is watching TV and it's, he's watching uh, music, listening to music through the TV. Um, so, yeah, copyright. Anyways, you can see a little bit of June's bed over here. <laughs> Anyways, uh, I got a happy my haul today. I just shook the camera. I'm sorry about that. <laughs> also, my face is red. I'm not feeling too good today. I've had a headache for two days. And uh, just been like flushed red and all that. My, my blood pressure has not been high, so I'm not sure. But this headache will not go away. I keep taking medicine for it and it's just persistent. So that's why I look a little weird. <laughs> but I want to get into uh, the Happy Meal. And also uh, I got some Bath and Body Works things that I got technically for Christmas. My mom got me a gift card and then I ordered them. And uh, so I'll show those too. Yeah, so let's get into it. So first I got an Amazon package that I wasn't expecting. Um... Oh gosh, it was a week or so ago. I just haven't had time to record a Happy Meal video uh, to go to the post office. But Devin went and picked up the stuff that was at the post office for me. Because I'm not going anywhere because of the snow. <laughs> Anyways. Uh, so I got a mystery package from Janelle, it turned out. <laughs> and um, she sent me some white yarn, which is awesome. I had mentioned, I guess, recently that I needed some more. And I was planning on getting some. Usually I buy, you know, like a jumbo skein. And then once I use through it, I get another one. And, um, so she, I guess, just, just, just decided to send me some. So I got these two black bags, and each one of them has three skeins of, um, Red Heart Super Saver White. The regular size skeins, which is awesome. So thank you so much for that. There's only five here because I already got one in the living room open using from it. <clears throat> There's the two. <laughs> and then this bag does still have three in it. And I'll probably try to leave these in the bag until I find somewhere to put them. You'd think I'd have holes from the doors opening by itself. I didn't shut it all the way. Okay, I'm back. <laughs> I didn't shut the door all the way, so it, it slid open and he's listening to music. So anyways, you'd think that I'd have places to put this yarn because I've been using a lot of yarn, but there's still not space. I could probably cram it somewhere. <laughs> we'll figure that out later. But thank you so much, Janelle, for that. I appreciate it so much. And uh, I'm gonna move that over there real quick. That's so much nice. Right All right, and then today, uh, when he checked the mail, I had some cards in there. We ha I haven't been able to check the mail in like a week and a half, two weeks, because uh, I'm not feeling like it. So I did have another Christmas card in there. And it's from Tina, I believe. Let me check. Yeah, Tina in California. And it's such a cute card. Isn't that cute? It says, Happy Holiday Wishes, and it's got little dogs all over it. So thank you so much for that. I love it. I'm, I'm going to hang it up. All my other cards are still hanging up. And I don't plan on taking them down anytime soon. Because I enjoy them. Uh, they might be heavy. And then I got this other card. It is just like a like a regular card. <laughs> I don't know what it's called. But it's, you know, like a, like a thinking of you card, I guess. And it came in this really cool envelope. This reminds me of my, my great aunt Janice, who recently passed away. She always had these kinds of cards. Does it have the name brand on it? How many card does? Josephine Wall. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's the same brand that she always used. Um, for every birthday and anniversary, she'd send these like fantasy cards. So here's the card. This is from B in Oregon, I think. Yeah, <laughs> I can't remember. It's glittery. It's so pretty. But she just sent it, or they, because I still don't know who they are. <laughs> Um, and in the inside it just says, it's not every day someone as special as you comes along. And then it says, for one of those days, uh, may all your day be good. And then they just signed it, B. But that's such a pretty card. And inside of it was a McDonald's gift card. <laughs> so that's awesome. I'll definitely be saving that for probably soon. Because this will probably help me to feed my family when, um, I'm either super duper pregnant and don't feel like doing anything or once the baby's born. So I'll be putting this in my wallet and holding on to it until one of those days <laughs> when uh, I need help with dinner. <laughs> Alright. And then the last little uh, packet, or little package I got because I got another box was from Michelle from Shell Shell Crochet. She sent me one in December and then she said that there was a second one coming. She lives in Canada. I think it's Ontario. 
oh Owen, I think it is, would be Ontario I don't know <laughs> but um she sent me a, a book of like scrappy projects that were like would be cute for babies and kids and then this one is a bag one it's got these bags in it so that's really cool I'll probably definitely make some of those eventually <laughs> also another scrunchie and it's hot pink which is my favorite and then she also sent some more stickers these are like planner stickers <clears throat> she's got like you know positive sayings and on it this one's like the little things that you would put down Ooh, and write like notes in and then just some little stickers to decorate with some pizza <laughs> and then this one has like uh for appointments and working out and just more little you know to-do list type things so yay, I love this kind of stickers and I would definitely be using them. <laughs> I love getting stickers. I used to be subscribed to a monthly thing called Pip Sticks, I think it was what it was called. Um, where you get a big package of stickers every month in the mail. I need to do that again because it's so much fun. And then the last package that I got today was from Valerie. From, from Valerie's Cuddly Cat Crochet. And it's a baby gift and I'm so excited to get it because it's so cute. Okay, I don't know what to start with. I'll start with the amigurumi. So she made an amigurumi for June. And it's a pink penguin. <laughs> it is so cute. Look how cute it is. His nose is crooked. There you go. I strained it out. It was in a box. <laughs> it is so precious. I'll probably just put that over here because I got her teddy bear waiting for her. <laughs> they won't be in there when she's in there. They're just in there <clears throat> temporarily. Because, you know, there will be nothing in there when she's in there except her. And also, this thing that Devin bought when we, the day we found out she was a girl, he bought that. But uh, right now that's just like holding a bunch of her stuff. <laughs> and then she also sent two super cute little dresses. They're so cute. But here's the first one. A little floral print. And this one came with this little tiny adorable cardigan to go over it. <clears throat> Let me see if I can put it on there. It is so cute. Let's see here. She might be able to wear this around Easter time. Easter dress. Look at the little cardigan, that's so cute. Because it's a zero to three month. So that falls in the window of Easter <laughs> this year. Depending on when she's born. That is so sticky, cute. And then this is the other one. This is also a zero to three. It's a long sleeve one. So cute. I absolutely love this one though with the little cardigan because I love cardigans. Yep, I'll probably put this in her for Easter. That would be such a cute Easter dress for a little tiny baby. And I'm imagining she's going to have dark hair. So it's going to look so cute with the pink. Oh, I can't wait till she's here. I'm so excited. But yeah. Oh, and it'd be cute to take pictures of her with this. And her pink one. <laughs> but yeah, so that's the happy mother that I've gotten recently. I got, got what am I going to do with these clothes? I got to... <clears throat> put them in a closet and wash them. I also got, um, this is kind of happy meal. Got those little formula checks. <laughs> this is an info meal. I never used info meal with Jesse. We used, um, Similac with him because he had, uh, allergies and he had to be on soy, uh, formula, <laughs> which was really annoying because it was really stinky. <laughs> but, um, I'm going to save these. And uh, we'll see if we use them. But there's a whole bunch of $5 off coupons in there for Infamil formula. So I can compare, you know, prices. And also, hopefully she's not sensitive like Jessie was um, to uh, be able to drink it, you know, without having to get special fancy kind. Because <laughs> I have absolutely zero interest this time in breastfeeding because the last time was absolutely horrible experience. And I don't want to go through that again. But, uh, yeah. Anyways, that's a happy meal. So now I'm going to show my... Bath and Body Works haul. I got it in my little Walmart bag. <laughs> I love them little bags I give out the free samples in when you pick up grocery delivery. We've only gotten two of them and it's usually around the holidays. But I got this one in 2020 and then I got the one I got recently was on the Vlogmas and it was like a yellow one. But I love them little bags. I use them for everything. So my mom gave me <clears throat> a gift card for Christmas. We draw names up on my side of the family so that we don't have to purchase for everybody. We can just purchase for one person. And then the kids. Um, and my mom got me. Who did I get? Oh, I got my sister. Um, so she gave me a $50 gift card. And I immediately used it the day after Christmas. Because I knew that the Christmas stuff was going to go on clearance. And it was. 
So what I picked out was, I got a candle. I always have to get a Bath & Body Works candle because I love their candles. They throw so well. They're the best ones I've found. I can light one in the kitchen in our apartment and you can smell it throughout the whole apartment. Um, I've never tried Yankee candles because I can't, <laughs> I can't bring myself to spend $20 on a little tiny candle. These ones are usually $25, but I only ever buy them when they're on sale. And usually buy one get one free. Or sometimes they go on sale. Like this one was $11. But I got strawberry pound cake. You're not going to see that, but it smells like okay. It smells like a strawberry pound cake. <laughs> and I just love their candles. And I use them all the time. What does it say this here? Fresh strawberries, golden shortcake, whipped cream with natural essential oils. <laughs> but this is like $11 and something. Because they were on sale. <clears throat> And then the rest of the stuff was all on clearance because they are winter scents, I guess. There's one that's Christmas and the other things are Christmas, but they're just winter scents. So this is a shower gel. I've never tried their shower gel, but I was actually really low. So I thought I would get a shower gel. And it's called Pinkberry Clouds. It's pink. And I don't know, what is this scent? Strawberry, sponge sugar, marshmallow fluff, and fresh air. <laughs> what does fresh air smell like? <laughs> And this is a Christmas lotion. And it's called Christmas Cookies. It's got a snowman on it. And its scents are creamy cookie dough, almond biscotti, and caramel woods. And this, this is my favorite smell of body spray. And it disappeared for a while. And then it came back. I still, I have like a little tiny amount in my bottle that I've been using for like four years. <laughs> uh, and... I kept looking for it and it was not there and then this particular day there was a bottle over there so I uh, put it in my thing but it smells slightly different I guess it's because years in between <laughs> the batches but it still smells good but it's called Winterberry Wonder see my other bottle is pink with like silver and pink snowflakes all over it it's in the bathroom where I would show you but um this one looks cool too <laughs> but it does smell really good I sprayed it in the lid it doesn't smell exactly the same as my old bottle, but it smells similar. And I love that scent. So that was on clearance, too. All of this stuff was on clearance, except the candle. It was just on sale. But these, this was like $3. And this was like $3 and something. I don't know. I don't know how it was all added up, but it came to 40 With the shipping and stuff, it came to 48 something So I almost spent the whole gift card. And then I got a body spray called Berry Waffle Cone. This one smells a lot like a waffle cone. I don't know how often I'm going to use this one. That's a problem with shopping online, but I don't want to shop in public too much right now because I don't want to get sick before I have the baby. But it is Sweet Summer Berries, Golden Waffle Cone, and Creamy Vanilla. I didn't read this one. The one that I love is Ruby Frost Winterberry, Sparkling Cranberry, and Crystal Vanilla. <laughs> I love that scent. That's my favorite scent so far from Bath & Body Works. And my favorite lotion from them is a classic cucumber melon <laughs> and I have two two bottles of it already but the last thing I got was a five pack of hand sanitizers because I like having these in my purse one in the car probably put one in the baby um what's that thing called I'm spacing what are those baby bags called <laughs> diaper bag the diaper bag and also I gotta give one to Jesse because I told him I would give him one and he's been asking and asking for it but it's a five pack of the Christmas scents they were on clearance as well so this one is Snow Peach Berry. Snow Peach Berry. I don't know if these have their scents on it because there's so much, not, not very much room. <laughs> and then Holiday Mistletoe. Uh, Bright Winter Sky. I gotta smell them, I don't know what, I haven't smelled them yet. Toasted Vanilla Chai. And this one's just called Winter. <laughs> Ugh, it's I love Bath & Body Works products, but they're so expensive when they're not on sale. Uh, so I don't get them when they're not on sale. I either wait for them to have good sales. They usually have really good sales twice a year. And a lot of times they have like random, through your email you'll get like, buy one, get one free candles or $10 candle, you know, something like that. Um, that's when I usually buy them because I don't want to pay, I'm not paying $25 for a candle. And these are normally like, yeah, this was fifteen fifty. I would never pay that for a bottle of, of a body spray. But these were on clearance for like $4. So I'll pay $4 for it. Because they do last me forever. I don't use 
stuff like this a lot. And the lotions last me forever today. <laughs> I had some. Actually, I had to throw away one the other day because it was expired. But uh, it was like half, almost uh, like two thirds used. <laughs> but I got to dig out my other cucumber melon one to put in the bathroom because that one ran out. So I need to get it out of the cabinet and uh, get it in there. But yeah, I'm super excited. I'm excited about trying this body wash because I've never tried their body wash. Hopefully, it works good for me. Sometimes I'm sensitive to things, but sometimes not. But yeah, it smells pretty good. It's like a like a it's like a toned down scent. It's not like crazy overpowering, which is good. But yeah, so that's my haul of Happy Meal, and this is Happy Meal too because it came in the mail. <laughs> I had to send it to my mom's because of these body sprays. You can't send stuff like this t to uh, PO boxes, but uh, that's okay because my mom lives right on the road up a mountain, but it's it's literally like four miles away. <laughs> um, but yeah, so. That's all my happy stuff. So thank you so much, Valerie and B and Tina and Janelle. That's all the happy little people. And my mom for giving me a gift card. <laughs> and InfoMill for sending me those things. <laughs> Hopefully I'll use them. If not, um, they have your name on them, but they don't ever check the names. At least around here they don't. Because I remember when I had Jesse, I got a bunch from some other brand. Maybe InfoMill. And I ended up giving them to a woman on Facebook and she used them. Because, um, like I said, we use Similac with Jesse. But yeah, so I got to pile this stuff up and go let Jesse pick out a hand sanitizer. So he'll quit asking me. And I will uh, see you guys in another video. Uh, vloggy bit at the end because I always chat a lot at the end. <laughs> I, uh, I was feeling pretty good this morning so I did some sewing. I actually I finished the seven notion pouches for the next shop update, whatever that is. And I started working on the hook cases. And I got them, got some of them like halfway done. I only sewed for like an hour before I got so sore sitting in the chair. But I'm slowly working on those bags. They'll come out eventually, hopefully. But, um, yeah, so I did that this morning. And then I played Mario Party with Jesse. And then that's pretty much it. I've just been sitting around doing not much because I'm tired. And I've had that headache for a couple of days. I keep checking my blood pressure because I'm afraid that it's going to be preeclampsia coming back. But um, so far it's not been up at all. But I've just been having a lot of symptoms of it without blood pressure but I'm pretty sure the blood pressure is what causes preeclampsia so I don't know <laughs> I might just be pregnant you know <laughs> I will be nine months pregnant on Wednesday because week 36 is the nine month mark so let's get in here because <laughs> uh, pregnancy is measured weird it's not measured by four week increments because if it if it is you're technically pregnant for 10 weeks because 40 weeks is 10 weeks um, I mean 10 months <laughs> and uh, my Midwife services let you go to 42 before they induce you, unless it's medically necessary, which I already told them I'm not interested in. <laughs> I don't want to be induced unless uh, my health or her health like depends on it, because that was a horrible experience too, being induced. Uh, but yeah, so hopefully she'll come on her own when she's good and ready, <laughs> and hopefully I'll feel better uh, today. I don't know why the headache won't go away. It's not like a bad headache. It's just like a lingering headache right up in here. But uh, I took three Tylenols yesterday, you know, spread out, and it never went away, and today it's just still there. <laughs> so I'm staying super hydrated, and I'm trying to, like yesterday I spent most of the day in the bed crocheting and watching TV, and uh, today I'll probably come back in here and sit in bed and crochet. Devin's got to work tonight, but then he's off all weekend, so hopefully I feel better. I don't know. But I'm going to hop off here, and I'll see you guys eventually in another video I don't know when whenever I feel like it and I'll still keep vlogging randomly I've done put out two vlogs in January so far because um I just like chatting with you guys sometimes so yeah so now I gotta go find homes for all this stuff and I'll see you guys in another video bye guys